I'm hooking up our tanning bed using a buck slash boost transformer. Our high volts is 240 and we need to reduce to 220-230 volts. We've been trying to follow some schematics from diagrams but the DC is coming out. We have the transformer with the cords for the high side, male adapter, and the low side, female adapter. Then the sunbed's cord plugs into what? My husband adapted a receptacle on the top of the transformer for power. Getting back to the wiring will you help with the configuration in the transformer? The transformer GE9T51B0108 and our bed is a G24RSB. We also have more wires than what is labeled in the transformer and they are only black and white wires. Christine Hello, my name is XXXXXXXXXXX. I will be answering your electrical question today. Could you please give me a quick moment to review your question? I have checked out the transformer you listed in your question. This transformer is made to primarily for low voltage lighting. It has a 12240 volt high side and a 1224 volt low side. Unfortunately, it will not drop the voltage to 220 volts. How much can it drop? And this transformer has been used on this tanning bed before at a different location. Could you give a brand and model of the tanning bed you have and I will look up the power requirements. It is a SunQuest Pro 24RS Model G24 RSB. Also we bought this transformer with the same co. We bought the tanning bed. Thank you. XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
You have X2 and X3 used twice, am I reading it right? Sorry, disregard the X3 X2 connection, I just copied this. Okay, I'll change around but not make to X3 X2 connection and our power checks good but still at 240, yes, it's a red canop. We will be right with you or in the middle of something and it will be about 10 min if you could wait. I appreciate your patience. So what is this connection going to do? We also had some extra wires about 3 to 4 we just capped off they are unmarked. Is that what you would do? Yes, I will wait. Yes, for now cap them but from what I'm seeing you shouldn't have extra wires. Okay, we are still getting 240 acres so we are going to check for our own meter. Any other suggestions as to reduce the power and if you think the ohm meter would be the best idea then we will try that but let me know thank you. With the transformer you have, the wiring diagram I gave you last should work. I am concerned about the unmarked wires which doesn't show up on any of the digrams I checked while you were away. Without actually looking at the transformer it's going difficult. You need to get a voltage meter that shows the actual voltage. It could be working correctly. The Knopf is a great meter that shows general voltages but not exact. You are correct, the bed does need 220 volt and not 240 volt so I would not suggest you hook it up until you are sure of the voltage given out by the transformer. You will not be able to tell the difference between 240 volts and 220 volts with the Knopf. Make sure to get a voltage meter and not just a OHM meter. Is there anything else I can help you with? We are getting a voltage meter. My husband is going to purchase one now and there is only one wire not being used so that is good otherwise everything should be working. Could there be anything wrong with the transformer? If it was working when it removed last and the voltage coming in is 240 volt then it should work. Here is a company that sells transformer to the public but they are only open on weekdays if the transformer is bad then you can order one here. Temco Industrial Power Supply, NNN, NNN, NNN. Is there anything else I can help you with? Thank you at least we now have our wires hooked together and hopefully the voltage meter will help thank you for being so patient during the waiting periods. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.